Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to understand how you can handle drop downs in Selenium WebDriver. So let me open the sample website. So here, if you see this um, request demo page, right? So this company size is a drop down, okay? Which has certain options there that you can go ahead and select. So now when you are testing, you will find or you will come across many of these uh, scenarios where you have to select values from the drop down based on different, you know, um, either ID or by index, etc. So that's all we are going to look into this particular tutorial. Now, there are many different types of drop downs that are available, you know, uh, today. So if you inspect this one, say, click on uh, inspect on uh, the drop down, you will see that this is the select class, right? And if you uh, open the select class, you will see all the options are available below that and the tag is option. Okay. So if we go to the other uh, sample website, let me open uh, another, say for example, Singapore Airlines website and I'll show you the drop downs there. So if we go to this official website here, they have the drop downs available, right? So like this. Uh, passengers drop down and then you have you know like the class drop down if you just right click and inspect on these web elements you will see these are not the select type the tag is input okay so in order to handle these sort of drop downs and the values within these drop downs it's different approach for this particular tutorial we'll learn how you can handle drop downs which have the select which have uh, uh, you know like the tag as select and the options below that okay so to handle these sort of uh, drop downs in selenium web driver there is a class uh, select class that you can use and it becomes really easy to handle these drop downs with that particular class let's go ahead and understand these so let me copy this class and i'll paste it and i'll say um select drop down okay and let me open it so here uh, I'll open let me remove all these lines here and copy this particular URL this is the URL that we will be opening to select the drop down right and this line will maximize the window okay so now in order to select the drop down there is a class select so if you go to the uh, selenium documentation so we'll say selenium uh, web driver java docs and let's go to this overview and let's scroll down if you scroll down to select here is the class right so if you click on select there's the class and then it models a select tag providing helper methods to select and deselect options right so what is the tag here here it is the select tag right so the select class will help you to select the options from the select tag right because it clearly says this particular class model models a select tag and these are the methods that are available so what you can do is you can deselect all or you can deselect by index deselect by value by visible text and select by index by value by visible text okay and then you have other options get all selected get first selected get options and is multiple so these are all methods that you can utilize to work with the uh, drop down lists lists which have the select tag so you can select by index by value by visible text and then deselect them or deselect all so these are all methods that will be really helpful so if you go through um, the details of the java docs you will get a lot more detail about these methods so let's first create an object of this particular select class and see how you can use the methods in this class so if you just to create an object you just need to uh, start with a class name and i'll put um, select and then we start with new keyword and say new select okay and in this select 
um, you have to provide the argument as the web element so from where do you want to select okay so if we go to this talk you will see that select you have to provide the argument as web element okay so you have to provide the locator of the select drop down here in the constructor summary so here what we have to do is we first have to identify the select drop down so what we'll do is we'll simply right click on this company size click on inspect and here you have the class name and so name is the attribute that is available there so we'll simply use name to identify this particular web element okay so what we'll do is we'll say driver dot find element by dot name right and provide the name the value of the name okay and then we can store it so if you see this find element we can store it in the web element so web element we'll say drop down okay and then just import so import the web element package and then import the select so in, when you are importing select just make sure you select this or import this or open uh, org open qa selenium support ui okay and then you just provide this drop down as the argument within it all right and semicolon okay so now what we can do now we can call the methods on this select okay so select if you say select dot then it will provide you all the methods that are available in this select class right so we can use select dot select by index by value and by visible text okay so we'll understand all these three so when we say by value and by visible text let's understand first by value and visible text so if we open this particular drop down so what is the visible text this is the visible text right the highlighted text is the visible text okay and value is the value level one which is in the level in the value uh, attribute of this particular option okay of this particular uh, web element now when it comes to index so if you see this select tag below that you have some options right so index uh, whenever you are selecting by index it starts from zero so first option is zero one two three and then depending on how many values you have so number of values minus one is the index size that you have to provide to select that particular value so for example you have to select 101 to 250 employees the index for that will be 0 1 2 3 4 okay so let's uh, understand these and select these one by one from our code okay so we'll select first we'll select by the value okay and then we'll select by visible text and then by index okay so we'll select by index and index we can provide say okay, five here so fifth value we are going to select so fifth index is one two three four five sorry zero one two three four five so it will select uh, 251 uh, to 500 employees okay because we have selected uh, the index is 5 right so now select by value okay so what is the value here so for example first value that we want to select first uh, option that we want to select is by value so I'll copy the value level 1 okay and simply provide it the as a string here if you hover over the value you have to pass on the string in this particular method as an argument okay select by visible text again string so what is the visible text here so I, I'll select 51 to 100 employees by visible text and then provide that 51 to 100 employees and then by index so by index and pro I provided the index value is 5 so 0 1 2 
three, four, five. So it will select 251 to 500 employees. So let's go to Eclipse and run this code and see it in action. So first it will select the first value, then 51 to 100 employees, and then 251 to 500 employees. Okay. Yeah, so you can see 251 to 500 employees was the last one that we selected by the index. It went pretty quickly. So first it selected, uh, you know, the first, the value at the level one, which is basically one to 10, then 51 to 100, and then finally by index. Let me try putting some weight there so, the, so that you can see it clearly. So I'll just put hard weight there so thread dot sleep and we'll provide two seconds weight there okay so it is clearly visible usually you won't be using these sort of weights uh, when you are actually writing your uh, program we'll cover the weights and the better ways to handle the weights but because i'm just showing you different options how they are being selected that's why i'm using the thread dot sleep so let me um, you know run it again and see that these values are selected one by one so if you watch closely you will see 1 to 10 employees 51 to 100 employees and then 251 to 500 employees got selected from the drop down all right, so that's how you will select the values from the drop down using the select class in Selenium WebDriver and the method select by value, select by visible text, and select by index. In the next tutorial, we'll look into more methods for this particular select class. So, hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.